Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda, and today I want to share with you all the books that I added to my Goodreads TBR during the month of April. All right, so during the month of April, I, in my um, bullet journal, I keep a list of all of the books that I add to my TBR that month, to my Goodreads TBR, and I made a book stack which limited me to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books. So at the end of the month, I had to go through and purge my TBR a little bit so I could get them all to fit on my list. So that's how my um, month went. Um, I was doing really good up until like the last part of the month and then I started watching a ton of booktube and started adding things and random things started popping up and that's typically how it goes. Um, so there probably could be more on this list but I did pare it down a little bit and I deleted some stuff off that I thought that mm, I probably am not actually ever going to read this. Um, and I came up with a list that I think is a pretty good one. So if you are not familiar with my growing TBR videos, every month I come on and I talk about all of the books that I add to my Goodreads TBR for the month and where I heard about the book from. So this is where I'm getting my book recommendations and inspiration and all of that from. And it's a variety of sources. A lot of it's from BookTube, but some of it's from Instagram, some of it's just from other things in life. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get into this and I will share with you all of these books. So the first one that I added to my list is Fall of Giants by Ken Follett. This is one that I had heard about before. I was aware of it before my parents, I think, have read these and recommended them to me. Um, and then I read Pillars of the Earth and by Ken Follett, and I was like, eh, these books are huge, and I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. It was a good book, but it was way too long. Do I really want to, like, commit to that long of a book? But I heard Haley and Bookland talk about this book. Um, I don't even remember, I typically write down which video it's in, but I will link it down below, um, that she talked about it. I think it was like books you've never heard of that you should read or something like that. But this is the first book in a different series. It is not part of the Pillars of the Earth series. This is part of, I think it's called the Century series. And the first book takes place, I think she said during World War I. Um, so it's like World War One, and then the second book is World War Two, and then the third book is the Korean War maybe, or the Vietnam War, I don't remember. But it's like these three different wars and it follows the same family through all these generations of people and how the wars affect their family throughout the generations, I think. So that's kind of the gist I got from it. But I know that this series has been recommended to me before, but that was just kind of the straw that finally got it onto my TBR was when Haley mentioned it. The next one that I added to my TBR this month is The Betrothed by Kier Cass. This is a new book that is coming out by her this year. It's coming out really soon if it's not already out. But there was a Goodreads giveaway for it. So occasionally, not very often, but occasionally I'll get into Goodreads and get into the giveaways and go through like what different books are being given away. And I saw this one on there and I'm like, whoa, wait, Kira Cass has another book coming out? I did not know this. Um, and I have no idea what it's about. But, I mean, I love the selection series, minus the last two books. I like the first three. <laughs> I think that's kind of the general consensus. And I read her um, book that she put out called The Siren, I think, and it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as the selection, in my opinion. Um, but I do think that I would want to read The Betrothed. It just sound, it the cover of it has, like, somebody in, like, regal attire, and it looks like another kind of um, royalty type thing. So, I don't know. It looked good. I added it no idea what it's about. I should probably look into that. All right, the next one that I added is Echo Mountain by Lauren Woke. Now, originally I added this because I got onto a couple different publishers' websites and I was going through middle grade books that were gonna be coming out soon and it came up there first and that's where I first heard about it and then I saw that it was the book that was included in this past month's um, Owl Crate Junior box. So a few other booktubers are talking about it now. But I have two of Lauren Woke's other books already that I own that I still need to read um but her books just I don't know the um, synopsis and the covers and everything just really draw me in and so I saw that she had written another book and I'm like whoa I know that author's name I need to add that to my TBR but I think that this is about I don't know if it's set during the Great Depression or what but it is about a family that moves from kind of a more um, urban area and they go live out in the mountains and kind of become survivalists I think um, and so I don't know it just sounded interesting so I added it 
another one that got added to my TBR as kind of a result of that search is Which Way is Home by Mariah Keeley. And this one is about a family that I think it's set during World War II maybe. Now, I, now I'm doubting myself. I think it's set during World War II and they escape the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia. Or maybe it's, I'm going to look it up now. Hold on. Okay. So according to Goodreads, and it is a debut novel, I didn't know that, but it is a, about a family escaping Czechoslovakia after the 1948 communist takeover, and it's based on the author's own family history. So that sounded right up my alley. That's exactly the kind of stuff I like to read about, and it's middle grade, so that was a win-win. The next one on this list is Ruby Holler by Sharon Creech, and this is one that my daughter's teacher was reading out loud to her in class, and my daughter wants me to read it, so it got added, and I have no idea what it's about. But I know Sharon Creech. I've read a number of her books. I enjoy her books, and my daughter's teacher thought it was good enough to read to the class, so I guess I'll read it. Um, the next thing that I added is The Things We Cannot Say by Kelly Rimmer. And this is one that this girl that I follow on Instagram that's just like a lifestyle Instagram influencer, whatever, um, Tara Thewison, she has been reading during um, quarantine. And this is one that she read that she was just raving and raving about. And honestly, I don't really know what it's about. I think it's World War II. I'm looking it up right now. Um, let's see, what does it say? It says 1942, um, so yeah, uh, Re Russian refugee camp, um, Nazi soldiers, yeah, sounds like my cup of tea. So, um, and she just raved so much about it. It has really high Goodreads ratings, so I just added it. The next one I added, um, I have a couple on here that were recommended by Colby Sharp. If you have been around here for any length of time, you know that he is a uh, elementary school, I think it's fifth grade, um, teacher in Michigan. He has a YouTube channel. He reads middle grade and recommends middle grade. Um, and so pretty much anything he reads and likes, I add to my TBR because I'm easily influenced. But this month I limited it to two, I think. Um, and this one, he just absolutely fell in love with. He said it's going to be on all the Newberry, you know, discussion lists um, and just thought it was remarkable. And it's called A Wish in the Dark. It's by Christina Suntorvat. Um, and I... I kind of know what it's about. Um, I think it's set in South Asia. Um, but and it's about these two kids who are going on some sort of journey. I don't know if they're running away or they're trying to figure something out, but he just raved about it. So I added it. The other one that I added from him is Prairie Lotus by Linda Sue Park. This is one that a lot of people were buzzing about during middle grade March. Um, and it is about, it's like set during Laura Ingalls Wilder, like Little House on the Prairie times, but the main character is Asian. And so I know it has to do with that. Colby Sharp raved about it again. Um, and he said that something in the author's note with the way that the author was influenced by Little House on the Prairie just really made a big impact. So I went ahead and added that one. All right, the next one I added was Beach Read by Emily Henry. This is one that was in this past month's, I think, month of, uh, book of the month boxes um but the first time i heard somebody mention it was victoria from victoria reads a lot i think it's her channel name um and she read it during the stay home reading rush i think it was either that or the dewey's 24 hour readathon one of those but she was reading it and she was like i don't really ever read romance and i love this book so i added it because i'm not a huge romance reader but occasionally i like a good one and so i added that one and that one i think is about these two writers that are like have writer's block and they go stay at a beach house maybe like next door neighbors i don't really know i'm kind of making this up as i go and something happens with them. Anyway, moving on. The next one that I added to this list is Dry by Neil Schusterman. Um, this is one that had been floating around and now it's like got all the buzz. Everybody's trying to read it right now. But the first person I saw that read it recently that made me add it to my TBR is Books and Lala. She read it, she was reading a bunch of books that like, I don't know if she read it during her Read Like an Aries, I think, um, video, but she read it and her husband read it with her and her husband read Scythe and loved it and read this and loved it. They both gave it five stars. So I'm like, okay, well, I read Scythe and I love Scythe, so I need to read this one too because maybe I'll love it too. We'll see. Um, but it's YA and I think it has to do with like all the water on the earth like is gone 
and it follows these teens as they're trying to find water, maybe. I think it's something along those lines. Um, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one that I added is Anxious People by Fre Frederick Bachman. This is a new book coming out by Frederick Bachman. It finally got its title and release date, and it was uh, posted, and so I finally added it to my list. I knew that this would have been coming for a while, but it finally got its release date. Um, I think it's this fall sometime. Um, I don't really know what it's about, but it's Frederick Bachman, and that's all I really need to know. Um, the next one I added is The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell by Robert Dugoni. And this is one, I have a book group that I'm on on Facebook called Mom Advice. And she like raved about it. She said it's like the best book that she's read this year. Um, it is about this little boy who is born with th this genetic condition where he has red pupils. And so he's known as Devil Boy. And he grows up and he's like an ophthalmologist and... I'm not really sure what else besides that, but I know those were a few of the things that really drug me in that just sounded really fascinating to me. Um, I do not have the best eyesight in the world um, by far, and my daughter has had some issues. Um, she's We've had to deal with vision therapy and eye correction and all that, and so in my family, my dad recently had to have, um, he had a torn retina and, or a detached retina, and he had to have surgery and cataract surgery, and so I've had a lot of ophthalmologist and optometrist issues, eye issues, and so anything like surrounding the eyes just piques my interest, and I just think it's fascinating. So I added this one because it just sounded really interesting. And then the last one that I added excuse me, I have got a bug in my throat, okay, um, is Radiant Girl by Andrea White. This is about Chernobyl. Um, after I read The Blackbird Girls during middle grade March, I became fascinated with Chernobyl, and my husband and I ended up watching the HBO series, which I highly recommend. It was great. Um, I learned so much watching that series. Um, but anyway, so I, it kind of led me to do a Google search for books, like fiction books that deal with Chernobyl. And this one popped up and it has really high reviews. And so I added it to my TBR. I think it has to do similar with Blackbird Girls where it has to do with a little girl who lives in the town next to Chernobyl and they end up having to evacuate and all that. So it just sounded like something that was up my alley, but I don't think this one's middle grade. I'm pretty sure this one's an adult book. So um, that sounded like something that I would really enjoy as well. So anyway, those are all of the books that I added to my TBR during the month of April. Um, as always, I will leave all of the links to all of the videos that I mentioned, channels, Instagram accounts, Facebook groups, all of that I will link down below in the description box. So make sure that you check all of these people out. And yeah, if you've read any of these, I would love to hear your input. Some of the new releases that are coming out, upcoming releases. If you're excited about them, let me know. I would love to chat with you down below. And other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.